We can record on top of everything that's there. You know how <clears throat> when you are away from a place you know really well for many, many years and you finally get back to it and it's not the same, it's not what it, your picture in your mind's eye, it's really, really changed. Well, imagine my surprise upon going back to my tomb. Uh, the years had not been kind to it. There actually had been uh, a medical waste company that for many, many years had been dumping its slime in the back of it. Fortunately, upon my re re uh, arrival, uh, the police had apprehended two of the drivers of the truck, so I think that that's going to stop. Also, there had been some graffiti, uh, and not to mention just the acid rain and general decay of the place, but the boys were working on it. A singing happy crew of lads painting out. Uh, hopefully the entire tomb will be back to its normal condition or original condition, which of course was unbleached titanium white. Um, and so we're looking forward to a uh, renovation and bringing this tomb back to its original glory. Monster from the Deep uh, was based on a 1987 six by eight foot painting I did of a Soviet era uh, nuclear attack submarine, which I entitled Monster from the Deep, the same title as this fetish sculpture, uh, which has been since painted yellow. Uh, it is a monument to the 60s and to the Beatles. This fetish sculpture thing depicts my take both then and now on the rise and fall of both the 60s and the Beatles. Fetish, an inanimate object. It's not that I thought then or powers. think now that either the 60s or the Beatles totally sucked. But Yellow Submarine certainly helped hammer a couple of the nails into the coffin of Western civilization. Or because it is considered to be inhabited by a spirit. A form of sexual desire in which gratification is linked to an abnormal degree to a particular object, part of the body, or activity. A course of action to which one has an excessive and irrational commitment. Um, she's a fine vessel. She's got some leaks, um, as to be expected for something so old, but she's going to do the job. She's plowing along. You can see the, uh, four, Fab Four in their Abbey Road pose with George in the back in denim. And then Paul with bare feet in a cigarette and, uh, dressed in black as is Ringo, who's right in front of him, kind of clownishly walking right behind a very earnest, white, outfitted John. Much discussion was done on this album cover, dissecting the meaning and implication of this image. Uh, however, their heads are inside the submarine, their bodies are outside, so they are pretty much the sole um. means of Front energy um, the, at the moment. The bow since the, the reactors are down, the bursting rod was spent, are spent. The rods are a bit spent and are being repaired at the moment. So uh, it's foot powered. Film the scarlet, the crimson pirate, mm -hmm. the crimson pirate. Front of which, uh, the the bow of the, the sub is and we're able to bursting walk under with the sea using the air love. Bubble. I believe that and scene was also psychedelia. Used. In a recent um, Johnny Depp way, Pirates way, of the Caribbean way too movie. much LSD. Um, in the the Pirate. That's about all I can tell you right now. This is how it works again, part two. Now, hit the, hit the arrow. Death Ship resulted in uh, a combination of many things. Um, I've always... I painting acrylic and so constantly cleaning a glass palette, scraping the paint off because it dries so quickly. And um, a friend of mine had given me a bunch of um, reading four by six pieces.
is for some of, reason uh, above a synthetic a literature that composition seemed to have a connection with the sea had, or the ocean. He's a carpenter ships. and he had a bunch of these for some job that he was doing. He was going to throw he them had out. a bunch of these blocks and um, rectangles and I started to scrape my rather than throwing the paint off. Also, then I kept it. And these things started to develop so I had lots of 4x6 four, four um, Mounds. I got stuff. Many of them over the years. And Moby Dick was a book that I once read, of course. And uh, trying to read now, now. I didn't have. I don't have the time to go back into it. So I listened to it. Uh, on tape while I painted. I was also reading uh, Julian Barnes' History of the World, so ten and a half chapters. It. Again, and there's a wonderful scene. There's a loose uh, thread throughout these small short stories. The thread is the sea, and um, particular uh, Shara called uh, Wreck of the Medusa. It's a really great. Uh, short story about that. One night I was going to bed, I was in high school, and um, I'm about to turn off the light, I took my glasses off, and I noticed this little spot on the ceiling that I had never noticed before. I put my glasses on, and damn if it didn't look like a, a little face. So I got a stool, put it on a bed, which was pretty wobbly. I got up closer to examine and it turned this out little to be, uh, face picture of Rasputin giving the Russian Orthodox sign with his hand and um, it had been taped there I think the day my brother left for college had been up there for a, about a year looking down at me every night I hadn't noticed it so I took it down and I put it in my wallet and I carried it around with me for and many many years um, I made uh, made it part so I assume that Rasputin's on board. First, the Mekons are an English group. The ship is also influenced by some of their songs. Sometimes I feel like Fletcher Christian, which of course has a nautical uh, theme to it. This is my favorite quote from the whole thing. These South Sea Isles are cold and barren, but this civil war's been good for me. We took drugs and tore our uniforms, gave our captain up to the sea. Here's a greyhound we once had named Fly. She's on the, the bow with her ears on the lookout. I could go on and on. There's more stuff in here, but pretty much. I did a series once on Las Meninas and this whole pile of debris. It was sort of art about art, but this is sort of that, that episode in my life in the early 80s, mid 80s, where I did the Las Meninas series. So there's slides of that. Rereading my one of my favorite books, which is Death Ship by B. Trapp. Um, as a kid, I had gone to Europe a number of times with my family, and ships started to. Uh, Death Ship was uh, just a phenomenal book. 1959, and uh, as a teenager in '66, uh, and each time went over on a uh, ocean liner. are the best builders in all the galaxies as everyone knows however the tower itself was built upside down
Babel. This is a joint effort involving a team from the Army Corps of Engineers and NASA and the Zardonians, the greatest builders in the galaxy. We come across a rather one-sided exchange between a chief engineer from NASA and a Zardonian representative. The NASA guy is clearly peeved. After all, the tower is scheduled to open in two weeks and the Zardonians, obviously, at least to him, have built the thing upside down. It's a one-sided exchange because Zardonians do not have the same emotional makeup as humans. They lack any notions of anxiety, anger, tension, frustration, testiness, annoyance, confrontation, etc. What compounds the agitation of the NASA engineer is the Zardonian's comment, well, you can't see it from my house. On either side of each figure is a silver orbed translation unit capable of translating up to 40 billion different tongues. More of these units, dubbed Silverados by someone in the Corps, can be seen in the back of the tower, all lined up waiting to serve the expected throngs of diverse visitors. Other units of different sorts are nearby. Poppers or Jiffy Pops, some already popped, can be seen uh, next to the orbs, Silverados. Um, you know those two documents on the server? They yeah. serve Is that where these are all uh, They're also next as the translation the needs of stack some of the more orbs. Like wavy gravies. So these are tablets that can be ingested for yeah. those who communicate a bit near the rear the of the tower. Okay, so clear testimony to the pure Zardonian engineering genius. For while the tower itself is solid as a diamond, it is in fact comprised of billions of Mesopotamian dust particles, all in exceedingly rapid state of flux. The drill offers a continuous feed of high speed plasma dust ejected into the computer generated tower shape. Everything stays up provided there is this continuous feed. Do we know what the, you know, the threshold is? I think it's the rim to file size is related to that. We have all that in why this Something that's sent. We have all that. 900, I would say. Or, back his 10 militants torched 160 vehicles. Or, including of this abominable destiny for U.S. and Allied forces fighting in Afghanistan. In the boldest attack so far on the critical military supply line through back his ten attack so far on the critical military supply line through back his ten.